Tim with Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio, and welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. All right, we are on a Whirlpool gas range, and the complaint is that there's intermittent power to the unit. So the we just pulled it out, checked the plug, everything is hooked up right. Uh, if we if we watch the the display, right now I'm just moving the the power cord, and there it goes out. And you can hear a little bit of buzzing from the back, and there it's back, and out, and now flashing. So we're going to pull off the back panel and inspect the control assembly and see what's going on. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is unplug power to the unit and take off our back panel. And they're just Phillips screws. this out a little bit. <laughs> Pull it down. Watch out for the panel underneath there. So now we're at our electronic control and we're just visually inspecting everything on there and checking the connections, see if there's anything burnt, make sure all the wires are in there. Everything looks like it's right. So now we're gonna we're gonna plug it back in and just see if we can wiggle some stuff and see if our, our problem persists. Okay, go ahead. Alright, so right now we have our unit plugged back in and we're just wiggling some wires around just to see if uh, our display continues to be intermittent. Right now everything is staying on and we're just gonna put it into a bake and hit start and check for proper operation. Our, our unit is actually on and, and functioning right now so it did start up. So we're just going to put it through a couple of cycles and continue to monitor and see if our intermittent problem comes back. Alright we're on our Whirlpool range with intermittent power and I have it in the original outlet that it was plugged into and when I move the power cord we can see it, it blink in and coming in and out. Right now I'm going to unplug it and put it into the other outlet and right now we're on constant and I'm, I'm wiggling the, the power cord and all the connections and we're getting no, no flickering so we're going to suggest the customer have an electrician inspect his outlet and if he has any further issues to let us know. Thank you for watching another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.